This is a really unique book. It's called Essentials of Calculus for Business and Economics. And this book is extremely rare. I don't think uh, it's very easy to find copies. And if there are copies, it's probably really expensive. But I will look after I post this video and if I can find any copies, I will leave a link in the description. So the reason that this book is rare is because the author, his name was Louis Lighthold, and he was a professor who was the inspiration for the real life Jaime Escalante. So who is that? So Jaime Escalante was a Bolivian American mathematics teacher who was portrayed in the movie Stand and Deliver by the actor Edward James Olmos. So Stand and Deliver is a math movie about this teacher in California who is super awesome. And Louis Lighthold was the inspiration for the real Jaime Escalante. So legendary person, Louis Lighthold, University of Southern California, Essentials of Calculus for Business and Economics. And I'm sorry, I just have to smell it. Oh, this book is amazing. Let's just go carefully through it so you can see what this book is like. Wow, wow, I wish you could touch it with me. It just feels like really like, oh, it's like a masterpiece. Very, very rare as a collector of math books. I have tons of books and I thought, you know, let me start doing some more book videos here so you can see some of these rare books from my collection. Real numbers, graphs, and functions, that's the first um, chapter. Then it goes into limits and continuity, the derivative, applications of the derivative, so very, very modern in the layout, the differential and anti-differentiation, the definite integral, logarithmic and exponential functions, techniques of integration, differential calculus of functions of several variables. There's an appendix, some tables and answers to the odd numbered problems. Let's read part of the preface together and then we'll take a closer look at some of the contents of this classic text. As the title indicates, this book is designed for use as a text in a calculus course for students of business or economics. The topics included were selected to give the kind and amount of calculus and applications essential for a professional program in these fields. Numerous examples and exercises from business administration and economics appear, but they are presented in such a way that no previous knowledge of technical terminology in these subjects is necessary. A background in high school algebra is required, but trigonometry is not needed. So let's just stop there. So you don't need trig for this book. So you can actually learn calculus without trigonometry. And that makes this one of the easiest books out there for actually learning uh, calculus because you don't need trig. So if you just have basic algebra, you can actually buy this book if you can find it and start learning calculus. Wow, look at the colors. Okay, we gotta check the copyright on this because I feel like this is, I don't know when, what year this is from. But yeah, yes, yes, it's from the 70s, I knew it. 1978, you can tell by the colors. It reminds me uh, of Gilbert Strang's uh, Linear Algebra. It's got like these really funky 70s colors. Gilbert Strang uh, is, I think he still is, a math professor at MIT or was, and he has lectures on YouTube. And he has a wonderful book on Linear Algebra. Yeah, look at that. Very modern layout, I love the orange color. So it has great explanations. I have several books by Lighthold. Uh, several of them are very, very rare. Uh, some of them cost uh, quite a bit of money. His most famous book, by the way, is Calculus. And you can find that one on the internet. One of the things I like about uh, Lighthold's books uh, are not only the explanations, but the exercises. A lot of times they're a little bit harder than uh, exercises you'll find in other books. And yeah, it's just very unique. Very unique. What's this? Looks like there's something in the book. Or is it just that the pages are falling out? Oh, I think it's just that it's just there's some damage to my book. That's all. Marginal analysis and economics. Oh, interesting. Let's look at this here. So th this is something that's that you won't find in other calculus books unless it's possibly a business calculus book, which is what this is, right? This is essentially a business calculus book. The demand equation for a particular commodity is given by p squared plus x minus 12 equals zero. Find the total revenue function and the marginal revenue function. Draw sketches of the demand curve, the total revenue curve, 
and the marginal revenue curve on the same set of axes. Hardcore. So I've taught some stuff uh, like this uh, from this book because I've taught, uh, I taught a course once called Concepts of Calculus, which is basically business calculus. And you do stuff, uh, you know, like this. So here, you know, here it talks about the cost function and stuff like that. So if you take a course in college called Business Calculus, this, would, this book would be a really good supplement uh, for a course like that. And typically courses like that don't require trig. Some colleges and universities um, do have courses like that that require trig, but most don't. Something else that you'll find in this book is that a lot of the problems, while I said they are harder, they're harder for a business calculus text. But when you compare this book to like Stewart's calculus or like a regular calculus text, you're gonna find that this is much, much easier. So the level of difficulty in the problems uh, is much easier. For example, here, number 27, you have the integral ln x over x. That's number 27. So in a regular calculus book, that might be one of the first few problems and they get considerably harder. So the level of difficulty in general is toned down. But if you compare this to other business calculus books, this is certainly you know, light years ahead in terms of difficulty. And in terms of examples, I feel like this one has more examples and um, again, harder problems than other uh, modern books on business calculus. Here's an example of how Lighthold explains. Look at this. This is a good example. And this is something that's not unique to this particular Lighthold book. Most of the books are like this. We have a, a simple integral here and they apply a formula and they go through, they let, there's your u, there's your du. And look how he shows all the steps. Let me just zoom in a little bit more here. So he, he defines u, then du, and then he, then he actually goes through and divides by the three to get one third du equals dx, which is what I do. And a lot of books don't show all these steps. And look, when he makes the substitution here, he makes it straight. So three x plus four becomes u, dx becomes du over three. So he shows every single step. Not, I don't even do that, right? So, Lighthold makes a big effort in showing every step. Going from here to here, he does skip one step. Three halves becomes two thirds and that becomes two ninths. So the font isn't perfect. Notice how small uh, the two ninth is. Uh, using LaTeX uh, today, modern day, uh, you can make that a little bit bigger. So the typesetting isn't perfect, but it's still really good and it's still a really good layout, especially considering um, you know, the year that this book uh, was made, 1978. But yeah, great, great book. If you can get a hold of it, awesome. Wow, wow, I'm sorry, I gotta smell it. Oh, it smells incredible, it smells incredible. What a great book. I just wanna sit down and start working through it. But that's one of the nice things about books like this is you can collect them and you can work through them and you can learn a lot of math. Anyways, kind of a rare book, uh, possibly very rare, I haven't looked. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Uh, by Lewis Lighthold, certainly a collectible. Um, great book for learning calculus. Also, before I end this video, uh, let me just say, if you found any value in this content at all and you feel like you want to subscribe, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to. If not, that's okay. Also, um, I do have courses, uh, even on calculus and algebra and trig, on my website, mathsorcerer.com. My courses are actually on Udemy, which is a very reputable platform, so they're Udemy courses. But instead of using Udemy, please use my, my website because when you use those links, it does two things. One, uh, it helps me greatly, and two, I lowered the prices on all of the courses to as low as the Udemy would let me. So I'm pretty sure you always get a low price if you use my links, I'm pretty sure you do. Uh, oh, and I do have a fitness channel so you can train your body. Uh, it's called The Fitness Sorcerer, so feel free to check that out. If you take away anything from this video is that this is a really remarkable book. If you can get your hands on it, get it. Uh, but I don't know how easy it will be to find. I will try to look and I'll leave any links in the description, but. Again, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty rare book, and I, f I always feel like these books are out of print, and getting originals like this, it's, it's really tough. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.